being asked simple questions about history is now being called relitigating elections by MAGA Mike Johnson. This is the latest chapter in the book that MAGA Trumpists are writing in which the question, did Trump win or lose the 2020 election, is considered a gotcha question, is considered an attack question, is considered some kind of game that corporate media is playing. We already saw J.D. Vance not answer this question during last week's VP debate. We saw Corey Lewandowski not answer this question in the aftermath of J.D. Vance not answering the question. And here is George Stephanopoulos yesterday on ABC's This Week uh, asking the question, did Joe Biden win? Did Trump lose? And listen to the acrobatics that MAGA Mike Johnson throws out. It's there. very clear you're not going to condemn the basis suggestion the Democrats are behind the assassination attempt on Donald Trump. George, I want to ask you another George, question. There are so many. Please, anything. Well, you have the opportunity to, con to condemn it if you want. You, you, you have that opportunity, but it, we, we, we can move on now. I do want to ask you a question that Senator Vance did not answer at this week's debate. Can you say unequivocally that Joe Biden won the 2020 election and Donald Trump lost? See, this is the game that is always played by mainstream media. It's not a game. Just because you call it a game doesn't make it a game. With leading Republicans, it's it's a, a gotcha game. Uh, you, you want us to litigate things that happened four years ago when we're talking about the future. We're not going to talk about what happened in 2020. We're going to talk about 2024 and how we're going to solve the problems for the American people. Saying Trump lost isn't litigating. Saying Obama won in 2012 isn't litigating. Saying Bush won in 2004 isn't litigating. It's reality. Saying the earth is spherical isn't litigating. It's just the way the world is. It's not a game. It's not a gotcha. But MAGA Mike just won't answer. Um, I, I think this thing, this this game that's played all the time, I'm not going to engage in it. We're, we're not no. talking about that. Joe Biden has been the president for almost four years. Everybody needs to get over this and move forward. That's what we need to talk about. What happens on November 5 and the days after that? So, I think that's really so important, like, and that's what so like, man for us to talk about. So like Senator Vance, you cannot say unequivocally that Joe Biden won the 2020 election and Donald Trump lost. George, I'm the Speaker of the House. I work with the President of the United States uh, all the time. Joe Biden has been the President for four years. There's not a. This is another game. You know, for, for all the games, MAGA Mike Johnson says this is the game that corporate media likes to play. The game they play is they won't answer who won and lost. They will go, Joe Biden is the President. I work with him every day. I went to the Oval Office. Biden was there, Trump wasn't. Biden's the President. That's the game where they won't say whether Biden is rightfully there because he won or he's there because he stole it. Question about this, okay? It's already been done and decided, and this is a gotcha game that's played, and I'm not playing it. I want to talk about the future. Let's talk about policies. Ask me anything you want on any challenging issue. Let's put that out there for the American people. That's what they need to hear. Well, it's President Trump who every single day, former President Trump, at just about every rally is, say, is saying that the election was rigged, that he won and that Joe Biden lost. I'm just saying if you accept that or not. George, I'm not going to play the game. Ask me any question on any issue that's facing the country. There's... Ask me any issue. Ask me about any issue other than a basic factual um, uh, question about the winner of an election. One of the biggest issues that, that we face, how about another hurricane headed toward the country? How about uh, Israel being fired upon by Iran? How about the rising crime rates that have everybody alarmed? All right, you get the point. Uh, this should be asked of every one of these Republicans. You know, what, what I had this period during the lead up to the 2022 midterms where I, I would have Trump supporting MAGA candidates on. And the first question I would say to them is, hey, just just as a gut check, um, who is currently president of the United States? Because some of them were actually even crazier than than not answering who won. Some of them actually believe Trump was still the president. This should just be a gut check, sanity check, first question. And MAGA Mike Johnson is once again performing for an audience of one, and that one person is Donald Trump. Acknowledging the winner of an election in the world of MAGA is now considered a gotcha question and a game. That's how backwards their connection to reality is. If they simply said, yeah, Trump lost, Trump lost. The question goes away because it would be boring if they just said, yeah, oh, we're going to we're going to take it back this time. I believe Trump will win in November, but he lost in 2020. 
the questions over because the answers would be so boring. The question keeps getting asked because they won't acknowledge reality. However, however, it is important to know the trap that they are trying to set. And I alluded to this at the top of the show. This is the trap of preparing people to go along with yet another attempt at trying to overturn or invalidate an election. That's what we need to be ready for. Yes, they are clowns. They won't answer the simple question. But part of it is if they can continue sowing doubt to their most, you know, feverent. I know it's not a real word to their most fervent supporters um, that 2020 was stolen. They maybe can manufacture a little more con uh, consent for what they might try to do in November if Trump loses once again.